I guess we're recording. <laughs> I don't know if everyone has that option or not, but. Um... So let me say, okay, guys, we're recording this. This is a new platform. It's called Lab, and we're trying it today for the first time to do a Q and A. It's been great. Um, there's been a lot of people through here, right? How many people are we? 11, 111? 111 people have come. Uh, there's 23 people live right now. Everyone is having a conversation and giving their comments. You can join in with your camera and you can give props. Look, I'm up to 37,000. <laughs> wow. I don't know if that really, I don't know. What yeah, I don't know why you're winning. <laughs> I'm winning something. I don't know, man. It doesn't matter, but it's fun. It seems like people that come on here have a problem and they need to click on stuff. <laughs> 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 uh, OCD. It's yeah. great for your OCD. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, yeah. this is a new platform. Uh, I think maybe we should try this doing the Q and A's here from now on because it allows you. Uh, it works. <laughs> I tried the Google Hangout last week and it didn't work. Uh, my Tear Deck thing is still down. We're gonna get Tear Deck to actually fix it for us, or I don't know, walk us through why that thing doesn't work. Um, but yeah, next Tuesday. Uh, uh, definitely join us. I don't know what time. Usually do it like in the evenings from six to eight and something like that. I can't promise the time because I'm always like doing different things and, and stuff. So join us. Now, how are we get this video to? Oh, Peter Max wants to join. Oh, oh Peter Max is joining. Yeah, party guy. It works. <laughs> this is my work. Nice. You're working. Oh, he's an Aussie too. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah, yeah, I am Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I just tuned in to see what it was like, man. Enjoy your feeds. Oh yeah. Videos, yeah. So. Oh, thanks for yeah. thanks for joining in. That's my yeah. toy there. Did you did you put? Oh look, the, he's got his batteries back there. Uh, yeah. Wait, is it this one? This one. It's a lot of Samsung cells. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. No, well, I made it look like that. I put all the good ones around the outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? Uh, did you end up getting that shrink wrap that I, I just quickly, you know, I, someone told me about your project. I want to say a, a couple of weeks ago or something. But, oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Wow. Woo. Yeah, that's look, better. So the good ones that. just on the outside. <laughs> what are the center ones? They're just multicolor ones? Yeah, they're all multicolored. I was going to shrink wrap the whole lot to make them all look the same. <laughs> yes. I was watching that. Someone told me about you, like I said, a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. And I, they, they said, like, well, you know, like Peter, he, he's doing the thing. And I'm like, what, Peter? What, what are you talking about? It? You know, and I was like, what are they talking? And so I could never find it. Uh, yesterday, I think I was on YouTube just yeah, checking my yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then it just came up, your video. And I was thought, like, hey, Peter, that, is, is he the one that someone was telling me about? And yeah, and I got to see one of your videos. It was the one where you... Uh, discover that that shrink wrap was too too thick. Big, yeah, could, yeah. And so, so you ended up not doing that, right? I'm still gonna I'm still gonna go and do it because I got a heap of batteries that are stuffed. I may have been a bit rough pulling the batteries apart. Oh yeah. But uh, I got no help here this week, so I got to wait till next week before I get some stuff in, so I can go and do some other stuff. Oh yeah. How big is your is your setup gonna be? Uh, how many batteries? Um, uh, I think about seven and a half kilowatt. There's 1,220 cells. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So I've got I've got 900 good cells so far. So I'm still I'm still a little bit short. The BMS oh. is on order. That should have been here today. Inverter's already been ordered. Um, I've got almost everything. I want to do it. Actually, pretty much what everyone's complaining about on yours. I want to actually put everything in one thing on the wall. One but you're, yeah. you're the inspiration, man. You're the you're the reason why I even bothered. And I'm a computer tech by trade, so I get heaps of batteries anyway. So oh, okay, you deal. I haven't with paid. That. I haven't paid for any of these yet, so they're all free. They're not thirty nine cents each. Oh wow! <laughs> you can make the video like out of free batteries. You know, there pretty you much. Go. Yeah, yeah. It'll cost me about fifteen hundred dollars to do the whole lot for a two and a half kilowatt inverter. Two and a half. Oh, I see. Did you hear the Garza? Um, what was his name? Martin, Martin Garza? Uh, uh, Rick. Rick, Garza. Rick Garza earlier today. He was saying that you can find these really cheap UPSs from like, you know, the yeah, industrial yeah. type for servers and stuff. And I thought like, 
oh yeah, how come I never thought about that? Someone linked to a, a power supply that was 48 volts. And I thought that could serve as a charger. You know, I usually thought they were like 12 volts. Um, I've got one. I've got two or three 24 volt ones, one 48 volt. And I got a 12 volt one there that runs my surveillance system on oh, 500 amp hours of batteries or some ridiculous amount. Oh, I see. Yeah. He says that you can pick them up when the batteries go bad. You can pick them up really cheap and, and they're like, you know, one kilowatt inverters and they're pure sign. And you know, customers they... just drop them off here. <laughs> Is that what you're going to use? Or are you going to use a like proper? Uh... No, no, I'm going to use a PIP 2424 um, MSX, which oh. has got a, a solar charge controller in it. It's got um, oh. it's automatic change. Of, anyway, you can Google it. Wow. Yeah. Is it so, going to be? Well, you're down in Australia, right? Yep. Uh, oh, wait, did you guys already answer uh, that question? What, what's Peter making? Well, some people don't know what, like, you know. What oh, the, I'm not. I'm not stealing Jay's thunder. It's not about me. It's... Oh no, no, he's a fellow <laughs> power wall maker. Yeah, he's he's okay. doing a thing. I didn't realize that until a couple of days ago. Yesterday, I think uh, I looked at it, and then I got to see the video. And I go, oh, okay. That's how they were uh, talking about. Um, I've been doing it for about two and a half months. Okay, so, so you've been at it for The a same while. thing as what you said about testing the batteries. Uh, every hour you hear the little thing beep and you run over and you change the batteries over. and Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah you, it, you, you, you get into that rhythm. I did it for months. I mean, Dude, months, I got, months last year, yeah. I got one IMAX B6. I do one cell at a time. Oh, I get wow. about 10 cells done a day and I'm up at 4 <laughs> o'clock in the morning and then I... But I work from home, so I can just walk backwards and forwards, and it's all good. Okay, okay. yeah, it's no, I, I buy like seven or eight of them or something. They're still all over the place over there. <laughs> and then I got, uh, I got that other one, the 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 uh, the cell log, the cell pro thing or whatever, which does higher. But I usually, what, what would I do? I you, I would use that one. Have you noticed that? That what I realized was that you can get in trouble if you charge. You want to try to charge your batteries really quick, right? Because yeah. because you don't know if they're good or bad, and, and the only way to know is to cycle them. So so I got at the very beginning of the process, I got in trouble because I would put like a bunch of them in in parallel, and I would just charge them, right? And then I would yeah. walk away, and then I come back, and one of them was like you know boiling, you know, it's like just ready yeah. to explode, go to nuclear, you know. And <laughs> yeah, I've got a video somewhere back there somewhere. And it got to one cell out of six, got to about 70 degrees, 60, 70 degrees. Oh, that's hot. And by the time I got a video, I was back down to 50 degrees. But I got one of these things, which is just off camera, which those things. Oh, uh, I see. A Nikon 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 charger. Charger. Mm. Well, Nikon, yeah, okay. and Nikon. Yeah, and that's pretty good. And I have that right beside my desk, so I lay my hand over it constantly all day long. So I can feel, <laughs> You're I feel like it's getting hot. <laughs> yeah, I remember and getting... Many a times getting up in the middle of the night and be like, oh, let me go touch him. Oh, yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. I'm an so, insomniac, mate. I have stupid ideas constantly. It drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know so, what I ended up doing eventually was using the just the little tiny ones that are like five bucks or whatever, and those charge at around 300 yeah. I had, I had, I had a few of them, and they fell apart. Oh, they did? Oh, I just yeah, could buy more. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing that I love is that it was uh, they would charge about 300 milliamps, right? And yeah. so then what I would do is like I, I eventually what I did was put those little put a put one of those little holders, and I would put like 10 batteries on one of those, and so yeah. they were just charging so slow rate that yeah. they could be there for a week and they wouldn't burn my house down. You know what I mean? Like I had a I week. Bought, to I bought all that. To my whole thing is I want to do it cheap. Yeah, I want, I, mean, I want the whole thing done as cheap as I possibly can. Yeah. So, well, the thing I'm, is, that I'm, it was yeah, peace of mind because then I would just, I'd be charging like a hundred batteries at a time, and I knew they were charging at a rate that it was not, you know, dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. And then you know, every month I think I'd go and like offload all those, and then put some more, and then I would start uh, discharging. You know, and yeah. so that one, the discharge part was the, the intensity. Uh, labor intensive part because well, that, took, to me, that took me a month and a half to do 160 cells yeah what's your cutoff uh uh capacity uh whatever it says oh okay <laughs> i don't know man just... i'm rely i, I learned everything from youtube <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, you, you, University of YouTube, I'm all over that shit. But I think it's, well, that one's saying 3.2 volts now. And you watch, if I move this, well, that's hot at the back. I've never noticed that. That's 3.2. Is that back to front? It is back to front. Yeah, it's a little bit back. Yeah. But yeah, so it's just two magnets discharging. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Wait, so you're not you're not discriminating any of the batteries. You're using all of them as long as they're good, as long as they're Oh no, no, no. I've got that pile there. There's about 70 batteries there that I'm not using. Oh, okay. So why aren't you using those? What what was the side Because they're point? just too low capacity. They're under twelve or thirteen hundred. Oh, okay. I reckon with the, I reckon with this many batteries in one hit, I mean nearly all the blue ones are above two two and a half oh okay they're good batteries yeah um and a lot of the other ones are 17 16 sort of ish i, I just think with a battery this size and i'm going to be discharging at such a relatively low rate yeah. it's not going to hurt them that much and if it does well i learn something i'll make a youtube video and i'll make another <laughs> 0.01 of a cent yeah the, so are you fusing them at all like individually or not you're you're are you gonna uh, I, w I asked you the question the other day um, oh, that was about the fuses, and you sent me the link. Oh, yeah, that was okay. me. Um, but by the time I added Australian postage and whatever else, I tried ordering, I think, about a 1000 and they wanted something like $40 postage. And it was like, no, nah, man, I can drive down the road, and it cost me $20, but oh, yeah. I'm investigating other ways of doing it. I have to do it. I agree with you. It has to be fused. Yeah, because like I said, I didn't but, believe in it. I started doing it before I actually believe in it until hmm. I opened one of my packs, and I'm like, hey, there's some fuses blown here. What the hell happened here? And yeah, yeah. battery just went. I went to, to J-Car and asked them. J-Car is our local sort of electronic sort of place. And they looked at me like, you're doing what? And I'm frozen. That doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, you're frozen. <laughs> you are frozen. That kind of looks weird. <laughs> uh, just yeah, let I went go. to Jacob. Let it go. I just, I'm touching myself at the moment. You can't <laughs> see, but it's exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they just looked at me and they said, no, it's not legal not to put a sealed fuse in. You had to have a sealed fuse. You couldn't have a um, exposed. Yeah. Oh. So. So you're going to use I'm those gonna, so. those pico fuses that that they are going around. I don't think I'm going to use the pico fuses because from what I have YouTube and that's the extent of my um, Your research. Research. Um. You can't see that they've blown. Ah. Whereas with your fuses, and you said yourself, you could see it was actually blowing. So it was it, that was a good thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, it was tr made troubleshooting very easy. I was going to get a piece of board and nail 160 nails into it and make that the negative side so I could actually put the entire battery pack on top of it and just do uh, get a multimeter and actually multimeter every one nice and quick. But, yeah, I haven't done that. So Am I, am I still frozen? Yes. yes that looks frozen. really weird. Yeah. I'm gonna sign out now. Anyway, thanks for the chat, guys. I'll give it over to somebody else. All right, thank you. For Much appreciated, and um, keep it up. I love the work. Thank you for visiting us. Yeah. Cheers. See ya. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh. Um, Yeah, um, I mean, not easily. Uh, yeah, I guess there, there you could design your holders or whatever in a way that, you know, you can unsolder it or whatever, remove the thing or whatever, and then pull it back out. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's just how, how much, yeah, you know, how much, how many batteries do you plan on replacing or whatever? Um, the cool thing about about building the, these cells this way is that you can have total control of what the size of the cell, right? And so if you, I guess, yeah, if you, if you know one cell is off on your, on that bank or whatever, on that group of cells, you can add one like on the side or so, I don't know. It's I, replacing a thing. I don't know. It's like not a, 
not a thing that I built onto onto my thing. But yeah, I mean, it could it could be a thing that could be done. It just had to be designed into the case. Ooh, we got to a hundred thousand. Oh my god! <laughs> That's crazy. <Right. laughs> Do you have an experience with T-Motor Works, both targets? <laughs> yes, I um, built one, and it never worked. Um, it was mostly my fault, I think, because I didn't know enough. And so then um, Valerie sold me one that was working. I exchanged it, I think. I exchanged. I bought another one. I don't know. I bought a couple of them or whatever. And then that worked fine until I blew it up in my samba because I was trying to, you know, push it too hard, and it got overheated. And then, oh wait, 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 no, no. Wait a minute! Didn't somebody no. foretell that? Somebody said that was going to happen. Maybe no, no. So the first one, I I blew it up because I shorted it. Um, I was trying to pump seventy amps to the battery using a 50 amp Anderson connector. And so what happened was that the the you know the connector got so hot that it melted and then the two contactors touched each other inside. And so boom, you know, it went and blew up. And so something blew up in the charger and I couldn't really figure it out. And I think I had like something coming up. So I just told Valerie like sell me another one. And so then he sold me one that was made like a brand new one. And that's the one that, again, trying to push it too hard, trying to bump like 70 amps into the battery um, while we were away on the road, uh, I blew it up. And then I that's the one that I have here. I, I kind of give up trying to fix that one. I started, I ordered a kit, parts for another kit to start building another one. And I was supposed to redesign that one so it, it would... It wouldn't overheat with a cooling, uh, you know, thing. And then I kind of gave up after a while and just bought a, an Elcon 5 kilowatt charger. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'm in the middle of building that now. Someday I'll get to it, maybe, and then I'll get to build it. Or, yeah, I have two, two of those chargers. One is blown up and one is not put together yet. But I have all the parts for it. So one of these days. Yeah, I need money right now. <laughs> yeah, email me, Jayhua Jack thirty five. Um, yeah, it's just sitting there on a on a desk on a. Oh, oh, I'm getting text from the wife. Ooh. Probably, probably about time to. Ooh, yeah. Wrap it up coming up. Yeah, it sounds threatening. No, no. <laughs> it's funny because like I'm getting a bunch of like uh, comments on the YouTube video that I put to link here. Oh yeah, I think I was muted. Thanks. And I can read them. Uh, Blab is a TV station in Pensacola, Florida. Maybe I don't know. I'm gonna argue with that. Um, app. Need to access my Twitter account? A big no-no. Come on, guys. Just join Twitter. It's not the devil. Come on. <laughs> Avoid application that uses other applications for login. This is just Twitter. Come on. Peter Matthews need Twitter to join chat. Uh, unhappy face. Come on. Actually, yeah, eventually he joined because he just talked to him. <laughs> uh, and then John Barrier says, did you get my email? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I've gotten many emails. <laughs> yes. Did you get my response? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, those are the comments over there. On um... oh, all this hate, all this hate for Twitter. Seriously, I didn't realize that Twitter <laughs> was such a hated thing here, but it is. Why is Twitter? I could be like indifferent, like. Okay, I, I don't like to use it. I don't use it that much. It doesn't bother me all that much. It's annoying. <laughs> These are the same people who probably link me to their Facebook account whenever they want to make uh, share something. Yeah, that's and true. It, I'm a Facebook hater. Because... <laughs> oh, really? Facebook hater? Yeah, yeah. Once my parents joined, it was over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sure. Oh, 
No, see, you just, you just, <laughs> you just don't join. You go, what? I don't, I can't figure out. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I don't um, know how to friend you. Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, so, I'm recording. Okay, it's recording again because it had paused for some reason. Yeah, I paused it because I was like, wait, so where? Oh, oh, so you have control of the same thing? Yeah. Oh, because you're also. All right. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. Let's let's stop this thing and then let's go check it out. Sorry, guys. We don't even know how to stop this. Thing. He didn't tell us anything about stopping it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess we just closed the browser. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys.